this is E.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bites Awakening! Let's head on through the Angler's Tunnel, and get a piece of power while we're at it. So I'll probably be using that more so for the movement speed boost, not so much for... Uh, what is it, for the damage. But yeah, you might have noticed, killing all those enemies opened up the door there. So I want to explore the upper level here first, and get a stone beak. And then I'll swing around to uh, explore the lower level there. I think there's a... Uh, yeah, there's a statue coming up there, but we can't reach it just yet. For now, let's keep collecting dungeon items like a map when it's actually useful instead of like the last 25% of the dungeon. Ha yeah. ha. And let's see, over here we got a cracked block we can destroy with our bombs. I don't want to use a bomb arrow for that, though. Just because, I mean, I can do other things while I'm waiting for the bomb to explode here. Get that guy out of the way. Let's see, I want to have magic powder coming up here for the antic fairy. There we go. Yeah, sometimes I can't seem to grab that fairy without swinging my sword. Careful. Can I squeeze it through there? Yes, we can. Hold on. Ha ha! Two for one. I like it. I think I avoided a guardian acorn there as well. Yeah, the blast radius of the bombs is surprisingly big. Relative to the size of the bombs, really. But, uh, okay, we're done with our business on this path. So let's just save and reload, get back to the entrance, and then explore the lower level of this place. See, I don't think I need to kill the enemies around here again. But, looks like they're not going to leave me alone if I don't kill them anyway. But, uh, okay, with this guy... Come on, there you go. Haha! Yeah, those three tile jumps seem to be a bit trickier in this version of the game. I think they, like, reduced the distance you can get on a jump there. Ha ha! Whoop! Yeah, I can bonk them easily enough, but can't avoid them. Hey, hey alright! The last of the dungeon items, other than, well, the nightmare key key item. I love destroying these crystals. It's just very satisfying. Wish I could destroy pots with my sword. But I cannot. But yeah, you gotta get all these keys in order to get through to the, to the next area of the dungeon. Are you... Whoa! Wow, that guy moved fast once they actually started moving. Let's see, I don't think I can reach that chest right now. I When I was doing my test run, I must have spent like 20 minutes trying to dash and jump to get that chest. And I could not. Oh well. Yeah, bonk off the guy, move the block, bonk again, kill them. Now, with the stairs over there... I'm not going to go down them until a bit later, because I can't really do anything there right now. Oh. Okay, well, we'll get that one later then, I guess. But alright, get all... Oh, I could use a heart. Um, Haha! -ha! I'm actually surprised that worked. A lot of times the game really doesn't want you to get stuff. When, uh, what is it? It's, like, through a wall or something. But, uh, alright. Keep that in mind for later. Okay, we gotta get around that pee hat somehow. Oh, they... Oh, that's weird. Like, they stopped moving real quickly there. Hmm. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that one to despawn. Thank you. I don't know how that guardian acorn got there. But I'm glad it wasn't in my way. Whoop. Okay, we can... Can I go under them? Yes, we can! And get a piece of power! Wow, I'm getting a lot of those drops today. 
I wonder if they increase the drop rate in dungeons. I would think not. But, uh, yeah, we can't, uh, get over to that platform there yet, but in the Game Boy versions we could. Not so much these ones, though. Or at least not very easily. Okay, so what do we got? Oh, what's going on here? Ah, hmm. wonder what that was all about. We'll remember that for later. I'll show you how we're supposed to know what to do there, and then I'll swing back around and do it. Although, I, I think I could do it now, if I wanted to, just trial and error. Huh, I'm surprised I was able to kill that P-Hat before they could start moving around. But, uh, yeah, let's wait for the P-Hat to move, avoid the Guardian Acorn as usual. Whew. Almost fell into the water there. But yeah, we needed to go down that path to get the key to this door. For mini-boss time! So let's see, I want to start charging up my sword. Swing. See what we can do with that. Okay, wait for it. Jump. Hit them from behind. Hit them again. What do you got? Okay. I'm surprised I'm able to jump over that guy. Aha! Let's see what we can do with this. Haha! -ha! Gotcha! If you're really good, you can just stun lock the guy in the corner there, but I am not nearly that good, apparently. Yeah, you can just get through that relatively easily, even without dashing. But if for some reason it took you a while, then you could pull on that thing on the right there to get into this room to find some flippers. So now we can finally swim around in deep water. All right, let's see what we got here first. Yeah, those guys, you can't uh, hit their mask. You have to hit them from behind there. But all right, okay, they were saying something about a glint of a tile or something going on here. What does that do? Oh. Well, that didn't really do much of anything. There's nothing useful. Hmm. Whoa. I'm surprised I hit that slime quickly enough. No! Phew. Well, at least I can block them a little bit. So, yeah, with the glint of the tiles there... That's how you're supposed to know what order to push these in. So, just do that. Oh, and I avoided a guardian acorn! They're getting a bit deceptive there. Almost blending in. But, uh, yeah, easy enough. Okay, now for this part. Dash under the cute thwomps. And get up there. Very nice. Let's see, take you up here to get the Nightmare Key. Now I think I'm going to save and quit to get back to the entrance. Or save and reload. There we go. Because, well, there's some chests that I passed up on before. So let's see. So since I've already killed all the enemies in this room before, the door is still open, so I don't have to redo that or anything. But let's be a little more careful, at least. Whoop! Oh, right, I can just swim in the water now. <laughs> right, right. I knew that! Okay, hmm. Get out of the way. So yeah, like the description said, you could press the B button to dive underwater a little bit. And you could press the A button to swim a little faster. Stop! Haha! -ha. So like, yeah, items that fall underwater, we can now actually pick up or get to reach. Okay, then for this... Whoop! Yeah, I need a uh, little more running room than that. There we go. Okay, do the same thing as before. Now, in order to get to those stairs... Whoa! Whew. That, I'm surprised I avoided that one. Yeah, just leave the room, come back, 
And then we can just go into the area down here where that key fell through before. I like how they do that. But yeah, while you're underwater, you can't use your butt X or Y buttons, unlike the Game Boy versions. So I can't use the, like, the rock's feather to swim up more rapidly. No, no, it doesn't work that way. Not anymore. Okay, so let's see. Around? Yeah, let's go over there. Get out of the way. What do we got? More rupees! Let's see, how are we doing on chest collection? I think I've gotten everything. Yeah, we're good to go. But, uh... Yeah, I could swim under those guys if I really wanted to. Maybe it only seems like I'm getting these power-ups to drop more frequently because there's so many enemies around here. But even then, in the Game Boy version, I don't think I got them nearly as much as in this version. As if the game wasn't easy enough already. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't just, like, hold down the A button or mash the A button to swim faster constantly. There's a bit of a cooldown on it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't need to worry about the pots. Too bad I don't have the piece of power anymore. So, where's the boss? There's nothing here. Well, there's something. For boss time! Against the anglerfish. Gee, let me wonder where the anglerfish's weak spot is. You could just, uh, what is it? Use, uh, spin attacks. Come on, almost got him. Whoa. Careful. Yeah, but it's pretty much a strategy for a lot of bosses. Just tank the damage and... And just deal with it. Just spam. That is one thing I notice about this game compared to, like, even Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask. Like, the strategies for the bosses are pretty simple. I mean, even I can do them. There you go. And I'm slightly asymmetrical. Oh well. I did what I could. But at least I can get through the bosses quickly enough. Well, it won't be the last harp you're going to be playing, Link. I mean, I know you used it in Oracle of Ages. Does he use a harp in any other Zelda games? I wouldn't know. I haven't played past, uh, like, the Oracle games in the series. As far as, like, release date goes and stuff. But alright, now we got the flippers and we can swim around anywhere we want. In, in Koholint. Where do we go first? Find out next time on Let's Play Link's Awakening. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!